अपने लक्ष्य की ओर बढ़ते रहिए क्योंकि जितना आप सोचते हैं आप उससे कहीं ज्यादा नजदीक हैं नमस्कार वेलकम टू पीटी पॉइंटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन एंड आर फर्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू protection of children from sexual offences act 2012 and it is in the news because recently delhi high court observed that simple touch is not penetrative sexual assault the court observed that touch was a separate offence under section 7 of the pocso act and simple act of touch cannot be considered to be manipulation under section 3c now let's know more about protection of children from sexual offences act 2012 so friends it provides safeguards for children against sexual abuse and the act defines a child as any person below the age of 18 years the act provides punishment as per the gravity of offence it was amended in 2019 to introduce more stringent punishment including death penalty for committing sexual crimes on children our next headline is related to governors and it is in the news because recently tamil nadu kerala and punjab have approached the supreme court to decide a time frame for which governors have to either return or grant assent to bills passed by legislatures now let's know more about governors so friends according to article 153 of the constitution there shall be a governor for each state and same person can be appointed as governor for two or more states article 163 of the constitution makes it clear that governor is not expected to act independently article 200 of the constitution covers the options before the governor when a bill is passed by legislature and the first is governor can give his assent or withhold his assent he may also reserve it for the consideration of the president in which case the assent is given or withheld by the president and the next is to return the bill to legislature with the request that it may reconsider the bill and any particular provision of the bill and governor can also suggest any new amendment to the bill article 200 does not lay down any time frame for the governor to take action but it is imperative on the part of the governor to exercise one of the options contained and in this context Supreme Court expressed acute displeasure at the governors holding back key bills our next headline is related to India Bhutan relations because Bhutan ke king India aaye hue hain and both the countries agreed to discuss new routes of regional connectivity and upgrade border and immigration post to support Bhutan's fifth king's plan for a smart city at Galefu on the border between Bhutan and Assam apart from 58 km cross border rail link between Galefu and Kokrajhar in Assam which is to be built by India two sides also agreed to explore a second rail link for about 18 km between Samatse which is in Bhutan and Banarhat in West Bengal tea garden areas India also agreed to allow Bhutanese trade items to be carried further on from haldibari in west bengal to chilhati in bangladesh and do you know friends formal diplomatic relations between india and bhutan were established in 1968 india is bhutan's top trade partner both as import source and as an export destination mutually beneficial hydropower cooperation with bhutan is a key pillar our next headline is related to इंडो पैसिफिक मैरिटाइम डोमेन अवेयरनेस इनिशिएटिव जिसको अनाउंस किया गया था क्वाड ग्रुपिंग के द्वारा एट द टोक्यो समिट इन 2022 टू ट्रैक डार्क शिपिंग एंड बिल्ड अ फास्टर वाइडर एंड मोर एक्यूरेट मैरिटाइम पिक्चर ऑफ नियर रियल टाइम एक्टिविटीज इन पार्टनर्स वॉटर इट इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ट्रेनिंग इनिशियेटिव to enhance maritime domain awareness in the Indo-Pacific region and to bring increased transparency to its critical waterways our next headline is related to chief information commissioner and ye news mein bhi isli hai kyunki Hiralal Samaria has been appointed as chief information commissioner now let's know more about central information commission and chief information commissioner under the provision of section 12 of the RTI act 2005 
Central government shall constitute a body to be known as Central Information Commission. It shall consist of Chief Information Commissioner and such number of Central Information Commissioners not exceeding 10 as may be deemed necessary and in cut tenure 3 saal ka hota hai from the date on which he enters upon his office. Our next headline is related to Bharat Aata which has recently government ke dwara launch kiya gaya hai at 27.50 per kg to provide relief to consumers from high prices. It will be sold through National Cooperative Consumer Federation of India Limited and National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India Limited. Our next headline is related to Odd Even Scheme, which will be implemented in Delhi. It permits cars to operate on alternate days based on their odd or even number plates. This has been implemented in Delhi to check rising air pollution. Our next headline is related to Timed Out Rule. And this news is also in the news because recently Sri Lankan cricketer was timed out during the World Cup clash against Bangladesh in Delhi. If we talk about the rule, then according to Men's Cricket World Cup 2023 playing conditions, if there is a wicket or if there is a retirement, then the new ball has to be played in 2 minutes. If the ball doesn't do that, then it will be timed out rule of timed out rule. Out दे दिया जाएगा, but इसका credit किसी baller को नहीं दिया जाएगा. Our next headline is related to Krishi 24 into 7, which is first ever AI powered solution for automated agricultural news monitoring and analysis. And इसको develop किया गया है Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare के द्वारा in collaboration. With Vadhwani Institute for Artificial Intelligence, our next headline is related to Leap Ahead Initiative, which has recently launched by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Ke it is a joint collaboration of Software Technology Parks of India and Indus Entrepreneurs. It is the initiative for startups to get access to investment, mentorship, and global connect under it. Startups can benefit through funding support of up to 1 crore and a comprehensive 3 month mentorship program that combines virtual and in person sessions for a well rounded learning experience. Our next and last headline is related to PM Vishwakarma Yojana, which is a central sector scheme hai, and it was launched in September 2023 to provide end to end support to artisans and craftspeople who work with their hands and tools. In the news, because recently, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship announced the commencement of the training of master trainers and assessors program under PM Vishwakarma scheme to empower artisans and craftsmen community in identified trades. So with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening. And for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.